Hello, DDTJ, and today we have a quick tip video on Mastercam Flow iTunes Pad. And I'm gonna show you how we can extend the tool pad so the tool is not gonna hit into the stock when it's doing the transition between pass to pass. Okay, let me show you an example. Uh, let me turn on the stock. Okay, for example, uh, I have a park like this, and you can see we have a chamfer here. This is a chamfer, it's quite big, and I want to use a indexable tool like a, a 25 millimeter tool to rough this chamfer before I doing the finish cut using a a chamfer tool or a ball mill so I want to to use the index mill to cut this chamfer do a rough cut and I, I use the flow light tool pad this is a very um, simple tool pad I can use in many cases and you can see this is my indexable tool is a 25 millimeter tool and you can see I use this for roughing this chamfer okay and you can see the tool travel along the surface and when it make a transition from the upper pass to the lower pass you can see the tool go directly like this so because this is the raw stock so when the tool move moving the transition between the upper pass and the lower pass it will go direct directly into the the uncut material I'm gonna show you when I do the simulation Okay, so this is our raw stock, raw material, and this is the tool. You can see this is a flow light tool pad without extending. The tool can plunge straight into the park like this, and when it move from the upper pass to the lower pass, it goes straight to the material and go go straight and do the cut. It goes straight and do the cut like this. So you don't want you don't want that. You can see here the mark when to travel from pass to pass, and I want to extend the the flow line to pass so the transition move can we can make outside of the raw material so how, how can we do that I want the tune travel all over the surface and go outside of the park before it move to the next path okay so this like this you can see this is the flow light tune pad without extending and this is the tool pad I have applied the extending. Okay, let me show you how to do that. Very simple. This is our traditional tool pad. We just go to the parameter and we go to the finish flow line parameter tab. We click on the gap setting button. And here you can see in the gap setting window we can you this value uh, sorry this one tanks and tool tanks and tool length so this is the length you want to extend your tool pad in this case um, my tool is 25 millimeter so I want to extend about a rate a value equal to the radius of the tool or more so I gonna use about 15 here 
so the tool will move completely out of the park before it go to the next pass all right let's try it we generate the tool pad again you can see now the tool we have an extend tool pad and this is the extend distance you can see um, the tool go completely outside of the stock before it uh, before it move to the next pass so we can avoid uh, the tool go string plunge into the raw material especially when this surface is steep it is not it's not so good for the tool so we want the tool go completely outside of the stock before it do the transition okay now we, we can do the simulation and see it again a tool plug outside of the stock doing the cut and it's go outside of the stock before it uh, move to the, the next pass so it's quite nice very simple you can see and the surface is constant so if you want to do some um, pattern surface or something and the tool go outside completely out of the park you will have a nice uh, very nice texture very nice pattern like this you don't have a transition mark on the surface so it looks pretty nice All right. you can see I turn on a tool pad so this is a very simple trick and uh, tip you can use to extend your what sorry your to ex extend your flow light tool pad and you can maybe you can increase the tool life okay so that's all for today very simple I hope that's helped okay thank you and goodbye for now